Hello and welcome to another X-Pro tutorial for SolidWorks modeling. Today we will be creating a model of this hot glue gun. We are going to start by creating the shape. After that we will cut out the handle. Then we will add the outlet and the inlet for the glue. After that we will add a place for the name tag and ventilation. And then we will create a shell out of this solid body. Then we will add some supporting ribs, cut them out so that the glue can go through, add the ventilation holes, and simply mirror this on the other side to complete the design. So we will begin by creating a new part. So let's start by selecting a new part. And as always, I will be using millimeters for sketching. We'll start by creating a sketch on the right plane. Firstly, I'll create a line here and make its middle and the origin coincident. And then I will simply start drawing the shape of the glue gun. Just follow what I'm doing. Later, we will add some dimension simulations to make the sketch fully defined here. And we will end up here. We can add a 120 millimeter long center line. Let's adjust the sketch a bit. Now we can start adding some dimensions. Let's firstly make these two lines linear and drag them upwards. And also, make this point and this point horizontal. These two points are vertical. The middle of this line and the middle of this line are supposed to be horizontal. These three lines are all collinear. And now we can start adding some dimensions from here to here. It's 50 millimeters from the origin to this vertical center line. To the end of the glue gun, it will be 180. This line here is 50 millimeters. From here to here, it's also 50. There is a 5 degree angle between these two lines and a 4 degree angle between these two points. And this is 10 millimeters. And let's add a symmetric relation between these two. The distance between two of them is 50 millimeters. Let's see what else we have to define. So we have to define the length of this line here. This area is now fully defined. Let's add 10 millimeters of distance here. From here to here is going to be 5. This line is 25 millimeters long. From here to here we have 35. This line is 3 millimeters high. This and this line are equal. Now we need an angle here. We have a fully defined sketch. Let's now extrude this. Go to Features Extruded, boss. Let's say 20 millimeters. You can save this part. Now, we can make a sketch on this surface here. And let's convert this entire area into a sketch. We actually need only this area here. Or what we could have done is simply select these lines and say, Convert, and then add a line to connect them. Now we want to cut this 8 millimeters in depth, so let's go to Features, Extrude Cut, and select Blind 8 millimeters in these directions. Now let's add the outlet and inlet. Let's start by creating the inlet. Let's create a sketch on this surface here. We can look at it from this side, and I'll simply draw a 30 millimeter in diameter circle and add a vertical line. I'll simply use a trim tool with keep trimmed entities turned on and simply slice it over here. Okay, wait, we have a problem. It's probably this coincident here is unnecessary. Yes, this was a problem. Let's simply extrude this contour here. Let's go to Features Extruded Boss, 5 millimeters. Let's do the same on the other side. Let's create a 30 millimeter in diameter circle. Let's add a vertical line and trim this axis. And then extrude this also 5 millimeters. SolidWorks remembers the input we used in the previous feature. Let's simply confirm this. This is what we got so far. Let's save it. Now we need to add the place for a name tag or a sticker. So we can create a sketch on this surface again. And we can use a center rectangle which will be 20 by 80. Let's just position it. From the center to the origin, we have 100 millimeters. And I will add a center line connecting these two cylinders. Let's make this coincident. 
There we go. We will extrude this 3 mm in this direction, and this is a very simplified body. A 3D model of a glue gun body is actually in half, so we haven't created the other side, because we want to first add a shell feature to this area here. If this glue gun was created to be produced, it would be made by injection molding process. And for that, we would need a draft in all of these areas. And we will see exactly where, so that when the mold is created, the part can be taken out of the mold's tool. How can we check where we have to add drafts? Simply go to Evaluate, and here we have Draft Analysis. It is asking us what the direction of pull is, which way we will pull out the part from the mold. And for this, we need a plane. Let's select this area here and just switch sides so that we can see where we need the drafts. If we have a green color, this is okay. We don't have to do anything. Red is negative, but this is the neutral plane, so it is okay. And where we have yellow, this is where we have to add draft. Let's confirm this and add the draft to all of these yellow surfaces. So let's go to features. And here we have draft. We will use neutral plane. And for neutral plane, face here, switch the direction again, and then select all of these yellow faces. I'll start by selecting these here for the handle. I have selected everything, and let's add maybe a 2 or 3 degree draft. And now, we still have to increase the draft. And there we go. Everything is green. This means that this plastic part could be injection molded. Let's save it. And we can go to evaluate and turn off the draft analysis. Now we will add fillets to make this look smooth and nice. First one, I'll add a 20 millimeter symmetric fillet to this edge here and confirm it. We can add another 20 mm fillets to these two edges. Next, we will add a 10 mm fillets to these. Then 5 mm to these six edges. Next, 100 mm radius, or fillet for these two edges, then 0.5. Here, you can select the surface. You don't have to select each one of these four edges. Let's add a 2 mm fillet here. And once more here. Now we can fill it to this edge here. Let's fill it by 8 mm. I'll select this edge. We need 2 mm. I shouldn't have selected this surface because I don't want to feel it to be on this edge just here. And here also, I want to have the same thing on the other side. There we go. I forgot to add one here. And the last one, a 5 mm fillet. And there we go. Now this looks a lot nicer. Let's save the part. And now we have this solid body but we want to convert it into a hollow body, actually a shell. We can do this by using a SolidWorks feature called Shell. You can find it here in the Features tab. Here it is. So let's select it. It's asking us what the thickness of the wall will be after shelling. We want it to be 2 millimeters, and it's asking us which phase should we start. We want it here. This will be empty, and everything else will be a shell. And let's just confirm the command. And like I said, now we have a 2 millimeter thick shelled body. Next thing we want to do is add some ribs that will help make this structure a bit stronger. So we can add one here and one here. We will start by creating a sketch on the right plane and simply use a line command. Let's draw from this edge to here. It can be vertical. And we can create one from middle of this line downwards, also to the middle. So this is fully defined. Let's add a dimension here. Let's say 45. Now we could have used boss extrude for this to create the ribs, but we will use a command specifically created by SolidWorks for this, and it's called rib. You can find it here in the features tab. So let's go to rib. It is going to ask us what the thickness of the ribs is. It will be two millimeters, the same as the thickness of the wall. Extrude the direction. Not here, actually flip the material side. We don't want this because it would create a rib. This way we want it towards the part. So let's select Normal to Sketch. 
and let's add a three degree draft, same as for the part. And let's confirm it. Now we have ribs. It's a very simple feature and it's easy and fast to use. Let's add a hole that will be used for glue stick to go through. Just be careful when you have drafts. This surface, for example, is not normal. Any more to do front plane. For example, if you would create a sketch here and start extruding, it would go a bit to the right. So you have to use standard planes or create new ones. I will use the front plane and simply add our circle. Starting from this point, let's say 12.2 extrude this. There we go. We also need a hole for the power cable. We can start sketching on the top plane. Let's add an 8 millimeter in diameter circle and let's go to extruded cut. Just turn the direction around and let's select this one here. There we go. Now we have a hole for the cable. We can save the part. We also need a place for on and off switch. So again, let's make a sketch. I will use a corner rectangle, which will be 55 millimeters long and 5 millimeters wide. And let's add another dimension, let's say 40 millimeters to fully define this sketch. I want it through this surface here. Let's go to features, extrude cut. Don't forget to turn the direction around. And let's just say through all or I could have set up the surface and selected this one, whichever you prefer. Now we will create the ventilation holes. I want them somewhere in this area so I can use my right plane and make a sketch here. The way I will do this is by using thin features in extruded cut and I'll show you how it works. Let's create a sketch here. I will make a center line and then use a normal line that's 25 millimeters long. Let's add another smaller center line here to find the middle. I'll delete the previous one and simply connect it here. So let's just use the center of this smaller center line and let's draw another one here. So let's repeat this step. Make these three lines equal. Now we have a fully defined sketch. Now, instead of drawing three rectangles, having these three lines to cut out, the holes for ventilation is enough. The way we can do it is by going to Features, Extruded Cut, and automatically SolidWorks will start the thin feature. Here it is asking us in which directions are in accordance with the lines. Do we want thin feature to be created? The width is two millimeters. We want it through all, but in the other direction. Actually, it creates the rectangles, but we don't have to draw them. It simplifies the work for us. We can confirm this. Let's see how it looks. Good. We can add some fillets, let's say one millimeter in these corners. And we can do the same in this area here. We can confirm the command and we can add one millimeter fillets in these two edges. Let's simply edit this feature by right clicking here, edit and add these two edges. Also, we don't have to create additional features. Let's confirm the command. And now the half of the glue gun is finished. We just need the other side, so we will use mirror. Let's go to features, mirror, mirror face or plane. We will use the right plane, which is, as you can see, exactly where it's supposed to be in the middle of the part. And we will go to bodies the mirror outside this one. And there we go. Maybe we can add a color. Let's go to edit appearance and add maybe a gray or darker gray. You can choose the best color for yourself. Here it is. We are done. I hope you like this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one.